obviously I wouldn't be able to record inside the interview so I'll just talk to y'all before and talk to y'all after and yeah I hope it goes well because I really need something to do other than being home all day doing nothing with no motivation so we'll see how this goes and then this is also my first job interview ever like I had an interview at home but that was for like partnership with a brand so it wasn't really like a job job if I can put it like that but anyway we all get the picture so that's what we're doing today and then whatever else I do I'll just record probably not gonna be nothing Girl, got the job. Period. I was like, "Please shut." You all know me. I ate the girls up in the interview. She was like, "Girl, you look so good." And I was like, "Girl, thank you, girl." She's like, "She loved my pun." Oh, that was a good interview. She talked me to death, though. But I love her. I love Jamie. She's the sweetest. She have to finish processing my application, and then she said she's gonna let me know dates and times. So, the girl is a working woman, per. And yeah, I'm going to be trying to pick up. The most hours because I need these. Hours. I need this money. I gotta get this money, you know? So, yeah. That is my update. I'm just leaving Walmart and I'm gonna pick up a glasses, y'all. She miserable. I'm not gonna be on that run. It's annoying. But whatever. I think we're going on now. But I'm hungry. I want something to eat. I hope we stop for food. spirit run up rubbing up for me and i don't like things like that i don't like that because it could be a good day why are you being miserable like don't do that you know but you know how parents are you just gotta let them be miserable it's not my name from Venera, they're so good i don't have much to do today but i want to kind of be productive and i haven't done a devotional in a few days so i'm gonna do that and tidy up my room a bit because it's a little bit messy i just have to clear off my dresser and that's really it i need to buy some new hangers because i have some more clothes i need to hang up but that's it so i'm just gonna change my clothes do my devotional and then straighten up now probably watch some netflix and i don't know i might go try and make something to eat because we didn't stop the food. It's kind of just like a regular day. We didn't do nothing special at all. I don't like that.
straighten it up i'm gonna wipe down my mirror because it's very dirty but everything is nice and organized i can't wait till i get some more storage for my room so i can really organize this dresser and then get a tv or whatever but yeah i am satisfied by how everything is looking right now so i'm just gonna wipe down my mirror and then i'm gonna do my devotional so yeah finish my devotional how i do it i don't do it like verse by verse because i know some people like they literally go and analyze it verse by verse but that's not really how i do mine i read it i comprehend and then if i see a verse that is like very interesting that sparks like curiosity i will sit down and i will analyze that one verse and see what the meaning is of that verse and then what it means to me because my personal view on it also matters a lot because that helps me with application i like to 
find ways to apply scriptures to my life instead of just reading and knowing. I want to apply it. So that's, that helps me a lot. And then that's why I just let my curiosity guide my devotionals because if I just do it by analyzing verse by verse, that gets boring. Like, I, like no one wants to sit down and say that reading God's word is boring because by far it's not. But if I'm just sitting down analyzing verse by verse, things that aren't like close to my heart, like there's things that I already apply in my life without having to read the Bible because I was just brought up off those morals. So things that are foreign to me are the ones that are closer to my heart because it's like I'm educating myself on it, learning more about it, like translating the scriptures, understanding different versions of it. I like that about the way I do my devotionals and then I have like a method where I do the scripture, the translation, the summary and explanation, what I personally learned and then how I'm gonna apply it and then I put keywords so that when I go back to read through my devotionals I can see like if I need something for when I'm sad or if I need something to uplift me or if I need something that just help me to be inspired and then I also did a journal prompt um, the prompt was, what color do you feel like today? And I chose blue because I feel like the color blue is inspiring. That's the color I chose. But I like the scripture today. The scripture was Proverbs 11 verse 22. And it says, this isn't the word for word. But it basically says like a pig with a gold ring in its snout is a beautiful woman with no discretion. Which is basically just comparing a woman who is beautiful but has no substance inside her with a pig with a gold ring in the nose like there's no purpose for it and then when you study the history of it back then pigs were considered as unclean animals so for something as beautiful as or valuable as a piece of gold jewelry to be in its snout it's like what's the point of that or it's a waste basically so that scripture was basically a simile to compare a swine with a gold ring to Every video, Nathan is scream. Every single video. It was basically comparing a swine with a gold ring to a beautiful woman with no substance on the inside. And that's so to me because, for one, the, it was like, reading Proverbs, it's like, the verses are like, completely off. Like, the things are randomized. I don't know if y'all, if y'all read Proverbs, y'all would know. But it's like, the scriptures are randomized. And then it's like, different topics like if you analyze each and every one it's like different lessons you would learn so that one just stood out a lot to me because it was like wow that's two really weird things to compare and then when you really look into and analyze it, it's like that's really serious and i don't want to be like that i don't want to be just a pretty face with nothing on the inside i'm not kind i'm not compassionate i want to have the attributes of a good person and a good woman and when i did my bible study it was saying like that scripture was basically explaining to men what to look for in women. I don't know completely, but that's the perspective of the devotional that I read online. I usually randomize it. Like, I don't just look on one site. But, yeah, it was like, it was important to me because it's, it's like, I don't want to be a waste of a person. I don't want to be just a pretty face because as a pretty face, that's not really an asset to anyone but myself because it makes me feel good and then still that still makes me a liability to myself and a liability to other people friends a possible spouse or partner like I have to be more I have to bring substance to the table and I just want to find ways to apply it to my life so that I am not a waste you know I want to be valuable I am valuable but I want to add value to myself and not take away from that value so yeah, that was a really good scripture. I love that. I love reading it. I don't know, like devotionals just make me go from zero to 100. And it just made me feel so much closer. But I talking so much. I just ready five minutes is a lot. So I'm gonna leave y'all with that. I definitely recommend y'all read your Bible and do devotionals because it really like as you get older it's important not even just as you get older as a young person it's important to have a good relationship with god and to be knowledgeable on the bible to be knowledgeable on the attributes that 
God wants to see in us as women, even as people, like, I don't know if boys just watch my channel or males. Probably do, but it's good to be valuable. And then a part of my study was also saying, like, this don't just apply to women, this apply to men too. Like, you don't want to be a liability to your wife because you handsome, but what you have on the inside, like, what's she just supposed to do? Look at you? No, you have to bring stuff to the table, you know? And that's internally, like, someone's physical appearance shouldn't be the only thing that you're attracted to about them. Yes, it's important to be attracted to a person, but you also have to be attracted to intellect. You also have to be attracted to a person's ability to work with other people, a person's interior like what's not on the outside what's on the inside what comes out what do they what product what is the product of that person you know things like that is stuff that i like to think about and you know analyze but you're talking too long it's how many times it's like 4 15 now and i'm gonna close off this vlog by saying i hope that this little getting my life together inspired y'all like this vlog was honestly not scheduled i just literally posted yesterday i wasn't planning on recording but like i told y'all and i always just come and is it record you know it's important but i appreciate it because i get to inspire y'all and talk to y'all about god that's just great you know but yeah, I hope that inspired y'all to get your life back on track or if y'all been falling off with your relationship with God, falling off with anything really because you know, sometimes we just be in a funk and that's what I was in. I was really in a funk because I was lazy, waking up late, not wanting to do nothing, only getting up to eat, just eat, eat, eat. But I'm getting my life together for real, for real this time, like for real. Going to the gym and stuff. Well, I'm going to go to the gym. I haven't been back to the gym in about a week and a half. But I'm going to go. Because I don't want to go into a new month feeling the same or being in a funk. And then I'm definitely going to do my devotionals every day. Because falling off is not a good feeling at all. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all know how it is. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And turn on the notification bell so that y'all are notified the next time that I post. But I love y'all and I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Bye.